Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm really honored to uh, give the warm welcome to David uh, during the very important uh, event of Expo. For us, it's a great pleasure. And uh, we share, obviously, some ideas, some discussions, some uh, considerations about the situation around the world in front of the risotto alla Milanese. Risotto alla Milanese because uh, Expo is a great opportunity to discuss about food, food security, and other, other value of Italian style. So thank you so much for your presence. Uh, obviously, for us, this is a great moment uh, to discuss uh, about the possibility opened by the after the victory of David during elections about uh, the uh, perspective of the UK and the future of European Union. We share the same ideas about the necessity of the next year will be a uh, good moment to discuss about uh, our common future. For us as a priority uh, UK continue to work uh, with uh, inside the European Union because the European Union for us without the UK is impossible. So uh, we will uh, discuss in the next weeks and the next months about uh, this uh, point uh, with the same decision to use the time this time for uh, improve the quality of life uh, of our citizens uh, and cut uh, bureaucracy reduce uh, the risks uh, of uh, um, bureaucratic approach uh, of European Union. We discuss about uh, the situation of migration in, uh, around the world and particularly obviously for us in Mediterranean. Uh, we know there is uh, a different, uh, there are a different approach about it uh, in the European Union, but I think we have the same value about the necessity. This problem was a European problem. Obviously, with the difference, uh, different approach by the single state uh, in the migration uh, uh, policies, but with the same uh, consideration about the necessity to give an answer as uh, international uh, community, starting from uh, the situation in Libya, from the situation of Africa, and also to continue to discuss about the consideration of G. Uh, seven uh, about the future of this uh, region uh, and uh, international development. Uh, è giusto una parola in italiano, una discussione molto apprezzata e piacevole con David che ringrazio per essere qua con noi oggi all'Expo. Uh, ci sono molti punti di collaborazione con il Regno Unito e con la leadership di David Cameron. Uh, in particolar modo abbiamo discusso delle questioni legate alle prospettive che l'Europa avrà nei prossimi mesi, sarà un periodo molto intenso e la discussione che viene aperta anche dal referendum che si terrà nel Regno Unito nei prossimi mesi, nel 2017, è una discussione molto importante anche per noi, noi pensiamo che non ci sia un futuro per l'Europa senza il Regno Unito come fondamentale partner. Abbiamo discusso di immigrazione, ci sono come sapete posizioni anche diverse sul tema, sulle singole scelte da adottare che adotteremo nei prossimi settimane, nel prossimo Consiglio Europeo ma c'è la condivisione che questo problema non è un problema solo italiano, è un problema che riguarda tutta l'Europa, le modalità con le quali affronteremo questo tema sono oggetto di discussione anche in queste ore partendo dalla prima necessità che è quella di risolvere il problema alla radice in Africa, evitando quindi che eh, l'Africa sia considerata un uh, continente di serie B dalla comunità internazionale. Su queste questioni c'è profonda convergenza con David, and uh, thank you so much again for your presence, David. Thank you very much, Matteo. I'll, I'll do this in, uh, in English. Um, uh, but thank you very much for the warm welcome. It's great to be here at Expo. I want to congratulate you on running such a, a brilliant Expo. And I'm very proud of the fact we've got such a strong British pavilion, which I'm looking forward to uh, visiting in a moment or two with you, uh, Matteo. Uh, we've had very good discussions here today, obviously about the close relationship that Britain and Italy have, the important bilateral relationship, but also discussing those two issues that you mentioned, 
uh, the importance of reform and change in Europe, where I think we do have some common perspectives and some common ideas on the need for competitiveness, for flexibility. We discussed those and that was very welcome. But we also discussed the crisis of migration in the Mediterranean, where we absolutely recognise that this is something where all of Europe needs to work together on. Uh, Britain is playing its part, not only with the activities of the Royal Navy in the Mediterranean, but also with our very large aid programme uh, in North Africa and in the Horn of Africa, which we're increasing at the moment to try and help stabilize those countries. And we would agree with you that we need a comprehensive approach, a comprehensive approach that sees a new government in Libya, a comprehensive approach that goes after the criminal gangs, a comprehensive approach where we work with you with your intelligence fusion cell in Sicily, where we'll be putting uh, people and resources uh, into that, uh, and a comprehensive approach that looks at every aspect of this, particularly trying to break the link between people uh, taking off into a boat in the Mediterranean and getting settlement in, in Europe. So look forward to continuing to work with you uh, on that and very grateful for the good and positive discussions we've had about the future of Europe today. So thank you very much. Thank you, David. And now I think 